Thank you so very much, uh, Hannah. And good morning, everyone. Please uh, let me begin by saying thank you to Ana Saclamandos and Hasham Fahmy uh, for inviting me to speak with you today. USAID um, clearly does have a very long history um, and friendship with AmCham Egypt, and we welcome opportunities to share information about our programs and hear from you about how we can support private sector-led growth in Egypt. I would like to just take a minute and introduce some um, colleagues, my colleagues from the embassy and from USAID, um, Bill Weinstein from the um, Econ office and Mike Cavanaugh. I'm not sure where you are, thank you. And then I'd also like to introduce my USAID technical team um, who I brought with me today. Uh, Dr. Bill Patterson, who some of you may know, um, is our Director of Economic Growth Office. Uh, Bill, where are you? Okay, great, thank you. And um, Dr. Arturo Acosta, who is our Deputy Director for our Education Office. And Dr. Nabil Al-Sufi is the Director of our Health Office. And then Ms. Tally Lind is our Acting Director for Democracy and Governance. And I do hope that before leaving today, you'll have an opportunity to exchange cards um, with each other because we see today as a new beginning of a new partnership. Egypt is clearly facing a period of great challenge and great opportunity. And there is tangible demand for shared prosperity to which the Egyptian government has pledged its commitment. As Egypt emerges from a period of transition and uncertainty, now is the time to refocus our energy toward achieving this goal. And I say our energy because shared prosperity demands the sustained efforts, not only of the government of Egypt, but also of the private sector, civil society, and the donor community. I'd like to talk to you today about how we can and must work together to achieve rapid, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth. When Secretary Kerry addressed AmCham Egypt at the, at the Economic Development Conference in Sharm this past March, he praised President El-Sisi for his bold economic reform agenda to improve the climate for doing business in Egypt and enhance macroeconomic stability. USAID stands ready to assist the Egyptian government and private sector in this challenging but critical endeavor. As leaders of the business community, you play a leading role in advancing a structured, results-oriented reform effort in partnership with the Egyptian government. You can speak to the needs of Egypt's private sector with the deep knowledge and, credib and credibility born of direct experience and personal investment. It is private sector advocacy and an active engagement with the government that must be the driving force behind these policy changes. The business community in Egypt must play a central role along with other civil society groups in advancing Egypt's economic development and its transition to a stable democratic society. We must also ensure that economic growth is broad-based and inclusive. The low participation of women and youth in the workforce is a source of untapped potential. And as the young people of Egypt's youth bulge begin to enter higher education and the workforce, Egypt faces a crossroad of risk as well as opportunity. And if these young people find productive employment, Egypt will realize vast economic benefit. If they are unable to find jobs, it could strain the country's resources and create additional pressures. Youth unemployment is a challenge in Egypt, particularly among educated youth who struggle sometimes for years to find their first job and this struggle has affected women disproportionately. Women's overall participation in the labor force is extremely low in Egypt compared to other parts of the world and even in comparison to other parts within the Middle East. And it's particularly low within the private sector. Research has shown 
numerous economic benefits to increasing women's economic participation.